If you're brand new to using Ableton Live and you're wondering how to load a MIDI sound into Ableton Live to get started, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this tutorial in less than three minutes. Now, the first thing you've got to do is connect your MIDI controller to your computer. Now, I've got links in the description of this video to show you how to do that, whether you're using a USB MIDI controller or a five pin DIN MIDI controller. So make sure to check those out. Okay, the next thing we need to do once we have our MIDI controller connected is go into Ableton Live's preferences. Now, if you're on a Mac, this is command comma. If you're on a PC, it's control comma. And what we're gonna do is go into preferences. We wanna to go to the link tempo MIDI tab and you're looking for your MIDI controller. Now, um, if your MIDI controller is connected uh, to something that's like a, a five pin DIN uh, MIDI adapter from uh, five pin to USB, you'll see the name of that as opposed to your MIDI controller. But in my case, if you look here, I've got the Studio Logic keyboard connected to Ableton Live and we wanna look on the input side of this. Find your MIDI controller, in my case, Studio Logic MD, you want to make sure that track is enabled. This is going to allow you to send MIDI from your controller to Ableton Live's tracks. Now, next, let's close this window and let's create a MIDI track. I know we have two MIDI tracks here already, but I want you to get in the habit of knowing how to do this. So go up to the create menu and do insert MIDI track. Now, if you want to work even faster, then use the keyboard shortcut command shift T. That's gonna add a MIDI track in Ableton Live. Uh, if you're on a PC, then it's Control-Shift-T, okay? So now with our MIDI track added, we need to find a sound to use. No matter what version of Ableton Live you're using, you can go over to the left here and open Live's, browsers, uh, Live's browser, and there's a couple different ways we can find sounds. One, we can go to sounds here and look for the type of sound. This is probably the best place to start. So let's say I'm looking for a piano type sound. I can go to piano and keys and filter based on the type of sound. So this is gonna pull from instruments I have loaded. Um, uh, you know, Maybe it's gonna pull from live packs that I have loaded from the Ableton site, but it's gonna show me all types of piano sounds uh, available to me, which is great. Now I can also browse by instrument. So let's say I know for sure, uh, I'm gonna go to instruments. I have Ableton Live Suite. I really like Wavetable. So I wanna just browse presets available in wavetable. So I can see wavetable, and then again, I can find the type of sound I'm looking for. I want a piano sound, I want a pad sound, that sort of thing. Uh, I can find all of that there. Let me show you my final favorite trick for finding a, a, a particular sound. I'm on my MIDI track here. I wanna just search for a pad. So I'm gonna do Command F to search, Control F if you're on a PC. I'm gonna type pad and you'll see all the different pads suddenly filter in Live's browser. I can press return. I can use my arrow keys up and down to preview those sounds. And then when I'm ready to load something, I can press return to load that on my track, okay? Now, um, let's, now that we've found a sound, if we're not using this trick, we're not searching. Now let's go to this MIDI track here. Let's just say that we go to uh, sounds, we go to piano and keys, and I find um, I find this grand piano sample that I like here, okay? So grand piano. To load this, I can click and drag this directly on my MIDI track, which works, there's nothing wrong with that. Or I can click on a MIDI track and double click on my sound to load that in, okay, which is great. Now, I'm gonna record something really quickly. We'll talk about this in a future tutorial, but I'm just gonna pick something here, record some piano. Okay, real inspiring music, I know. But here's what I love about MIDI. Let's play that back, let's listen to it now, okay? And what I love about this is I go, you know what, I like this, but I really want this to be like an electric piano sound. So I can go back to my browser over here and let's find, okay, I like that. Okay, I like that too. Let's go with this one. And side note, if you're wondering how I'm previewing this, if you click this uh, Q button here in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, so this is where it is right here, uh, you can click and actually preview sounds as you load them. So I like this sound, so I'm gonna double click to load it, and it's gonna keep my MIDI data that I recorded, but now when I press play, let's listen to it. You'll hear it's got a electric piano sound as opposed to just uh, the piano sound, which is really, really great. So we can find sounds quickly, we can load them onto MIDI tracks, and then we can record something and replace those sounds later. So that's a look at how to find the perfect sound in Ableton Live to get up and running. If you want more tips and tricks like this, make sure you subscribe, enable the bell icon, and post a brand new tutorial every single day, completely for free here on the channel, and I don't want you to miss it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.